Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. That's 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 15. Uh, I'm reading out of the easy read version. It reads, thanks be to God for his gift. It's too wonderful to describe. Today I want to talk about God's gift to us. God's gift to us. Of course, Christmas, as, as we commemorate and celebrate uh, the birth of Christ as uh, believers, uh, of course, it is uh, one of the most wonderful time of the year. We see the uh, the Christmas lighting. Of course, uh, they're singing the Christmas carol. The malls and stores are, 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 are packed. People are, are rushing, getting Christmas gifts for their loved one. Families are traveling uh, to be with their family and friend. Truly, it is an amazing time of the year. And what is so amazing about this time is uh, we celebrate his birth, the birth of Christ. Of course, whenever we celebrate an individual, they should be the one to receive the gift. But truly, it was God's gift to humanity. As we celebrate as believers, we receive God's gift. And the Apostle Paul, of course, he Paul's in this uh, ninth chapter before he would go into the 10th chapter in verse 15. And Paul says, uh, thanks be to God for his gift is too wonderful for me. Paul had to, whenever we are thanking someone, we're really, we're praising them. The apostle Paul even wrote, he said, let us offer up the sacrifice of praise. Uh, that is with the fruits of our lips, give thanks unto his name. We ought to thank God because of the gift that he has given us. And the gift that he's given us, the Apostle Paul said, you can't even describe it. It is it is too wonderful to describe. It is undescribable. Uh, uh, of course, uh, God love for mankind uh, uh, come, came down through 42 generations as he had prophesied all the way uh, in Genesis before the fall of man that he would make a provision for man. And in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, he says to the enemy that I'm going to put intimate between you and the woman and between her seed and, and thy seed and his seed shall bruise thy head. And of course, 700 years before Christ would come, he would use Isaiah uh, who name mean the Lord is salvation. And Isaiah 9 and 6, he said, for unto us a child is born a until the son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Of course, this gift, uh, the Apostle Paul said, it is so wonderful, I can't describe it, that God will come and visit into this earth realm, come so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And so as we celebrate Christmas, remember, uh, Jesus is the reason why it, why we celebrate. He is the reason for the season. May God bless you real good. As always, may he smile upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today. God give to us.